What's up, guys? Welcome to Visualization. My name is Nestor Adrian Sen, and today we're going to learn about how to combine tables in Power BI. But before we get started, please let's make sure that you don't miss anything and subscribe to this channel right now. All right, guys, no more talking and let's dig in. Today we're going to learn about three different topics. The first topic, we will be learning the key definitions about combined data. The second point, we will learn briefly about how to append queries. And finally, we will learn about how to merge queries in Power BI. So we will spend more time in this last topic. We will be learning about how to merge three different queries in just one query. So this is going to be fun and let's keep going. So combine data. Combining data means connecting to two or more data sources, shaping them as needed, then consolidating them into a useful query. So basically here we have data from different sources and then our main goal is to have just one table. So we have right here two primary ways of combining queries, merging and appending. OK, you can see right here a screenshot of the Power Query editor window. On the right side, right here, you can see the two options, merge queries and append queries. Let's keep going. Append queries. When you have additional rows of data that you would like to add to an existing query, you append the query. So this is basically a vertical combination. OK, so let's imagine that you have a main table. OK, that's the, the original table that you have. And then you want to add more rows. So if you have that case, you might want to use the append option. OK. So right here, you can also see a screenshot right here. It says you can join two tables or you can also join three or more tables. So as I mentioned before, we won't be spending a lot of time here because I already work on a tutorial about how to append queries. If you would like to check that tutorial, please stop this video and go back to this tutorial. Four key steps to create a visualization in Power BI. Here's the link and you can start watching at minute 12. If you want to learn more about how to append queries, yeah, this is highly recommended. All right, so let's keep going, guys. All right, so now let's talk about the main purpose of this tutorial, how to merge queries. When you have one or more columns that you would like to add to another query, you merge the queries. That's simple, guys. Very simple. If you want to have more columns from different tables, so go ahead and use the merge option. So right now, it's really important if we are familiar with the join kinds. OK, so we have right here six different types. We have left other, right other, full other, inner, left anti, right anti. On the right side, you can see a picture with every single join kind. So for example, let's take a look at the inner join. So the inner join right here, it says only matching rows. So we have two different tables and we only get information from the rows that are common between these two tables. OK, like you can see right here on the image, right? What else? Let's take a look at the, the first one right here, left other. So right here is this one right here. That means that we can get information, all the information from the first table and also information that matches the second table. See right there? So those definitions are very important. If you guys are not familiar with those definitions, it's highly recommended to spend time learning this. OK, so there you have it and you can take advantage of this information. All right. So now let's go to the example because we learn by doing right. So let's do it. So right here we have an example and we have right here a question. So merge the following three tables and create a visualization. So we're going to use public data here. We're going to use this famous website called Wikipedia. You might be familiar with that website. We're going to copy this sentence here, control C and go back to Google, control V, enter. And right here, Wikipedia, 
click on here. Let's check if we have a table right there. Yes, we have a table. So this is what we're looking for. Control C, let's copy the link. Let's go to the Power BI desktop program. And then right here, get data, hit web. And right here, we're gonna paste this link. Hit okay. And right here, we have many tables, right? And we're gonna select this table right here, okay? Then let's hit transform data. And then right here, we're gonna shape this information, okay? We're gonna clean this data. But before we do that, let's check what is needed. State, state abbreviation, capital, date, established, population, and total area in square miles, okay? So let's keep that in mind and go back again. It seems like the first two rows, we don't need those rows, okay? And let's hit right here, remove top rows. So we need to remove those two top rows right there. That looks better. And then right here, let's edit these column names. Let's call this state. So right here, let's call this state abbreviation. Okay. So right here, this is capital. Let's call this just capital. So we don't care about this. Let's delete it. Establish. Yeah. So we care about this date established, right? All right. So population. Yeah. We care about population. We are basically here cleaning our data. Okay. Shaping it. This is population. What else do we have right here? Area. Yes, we care about total area. This should be in square miles. And then we don't care about this. We move it. Land area. We don't care about land area, water area, water area. No, we don't care about those. So let's select everything. And then right here, remove columns. That looks better. What else? If you guys see it right here in Massachusetts, we have a knee right there that needs to be removed. Let's select that cell, right click, and then replace values. This is what we're gonna do. Control C, Control V right here, and let's remove this. So we are finding this value and replacing with this value. We hit okay. That looks better. All right, now we have 50 states, right? What else? Right here, let's make sure that we have the same units here or data type. So state, this is text, that's correct. Abbreviation, that's text. ABC, that's correct. Capital, that's text, that's correct. Date established. The data type should be date right here. Population, this is a whole number. We need to update that. And then right here, this should be also a whole number. This is very important, guys, because if you want to make a chart or a report, the data type is really important. All right, that looks better. And now let's close and apply. All right, let's change this right here. Let's call this 50 US states. Let's hit enter. There you have it. So that looks better. Now let's go back to the Excel file again. And we have right here another table, right? Let's copy this. Go back to Google. Let's copy this one right here again. Enter. And right here, let's scroll down a little bit. Let's hit this option. We see tables right there. That's what we need. And then Control C. Let's copy that link. Get data. Web. Let's copy this one right here. Control V. Okay. Same strategy, guys. Let's select this table. Transform data. Now let's go back to the file and let's see what we need. State birth rate and death rate. Let's go back again. So right here, we don't need this, right? Let's remove that top row. Number one, just one row. Let's remove this column. And right here, state, birth rate. Yeah, we care about birth rate. Uh, death rate, yeah, we care about death rate. We are basically here editing, right? And we don't care about this column. And let's remove that column. So now let's make sure that the data type is correct. So state, this is text, we are good. Birth rate, uh, this should be decimal, right? So data type right here, decimal number. And right here, this should also be decimal number. So now this looks better. We have 56 right here. So there might be territories as well. That's fine for now. Let's call this table birth and death rates. Okay, all right, hit enter. And now we can close and apply. It's loading. All right, on the right side, under the fields part, you can see 
the table that we just edited. All right, so now let's go back to the file again. And we have the third table right here. Same in strategy, Control C, go back to Google, Control V, enter. Let's check this website right here, Wikipedia. Let's make sure that we have a table right there. Yeah, we have a table, that's what we need. Control C, let's go back to Power BI Desktop, get data from website, Control V again. Okay, and right here, let's select this table. Now let's hit transform data. And now let's delete this row because we don't need that. First one, hit OK. What else? Uh, this should be called just state, right? And then high school graduate or higher, that's fine. We don't care about this, right? Uh, let's go back to check the file. So we care for state, high school degree, bachelor's degree, and advanced degree. These are the columns that we need to have, right? So let's go back. We are good here, we are good here. We are good here. We don't care about the rank. So remove the column. We don't care about the rank right here, right there. Now let's check the data type. Text, we are good. This is percentage and this should be called percentage right here. So this is also percentage, percentage right here. This should be also percentage. So now let's check the states. We have 57, we might have territories there. That's why we have more than 50. So that's fine. Now let's call this table educational alignment. All right, hit enter. And now let's close and apply. And let's see what happens. It's loading, boom. We have it right here. It's right there. That's what we need. All right, so now we have the three tables we already shaped those tables, we already cleaned those tables, and those tables are ready to be merged. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Let's go back to edit queries, and right here, we're gonna duplicate the main table. We're gonna consider 50 US states as the main table. So right click, duplicate, and right here, let's change the name. Let's call this total, okay? And let's have a underscore right there. Now we know that the total table here is basically the same 50 US states table, right? So this is what we're gonna do. Let's select that table and then let's go to merge queries. Let's hit merge queries and the party just started, guys. Let's do it. The connection is gonna be state. And right here, we're gonna merge this table with the educational attainment. So right here, let's select state because that's the connection. And right here, let's just save it. And then right here, left other is fine and let's hit this up right there as well and we have 50 rows that match so i'm going to show you guys a graph as well with this type of join okay let's hit okay and let's see what happens boom so right away we can see a new column right here so this new column basically has all the information about educational attainment if we want to expand this one right here let's hit that and then State's gonna be the same. And then let's say that we wanna have these three new columns from the new table. Let's hit okay, and let's see what happens. This is something that I wanted to show you guys. So right here, we're seeing duplicated rows. So what's going on? If we know that we only care for unique rows, right? This is what we're gonna do. So that was a headache for me, guys, trust me. So we're gonna go to the right part, to the applied steps, and let's remove that step. Let's remove another step, and let's do it again. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. So let's go back again, merge queries, stay right here, educational attainment, stay the connection, and then right here, hit okay, right here. After you hit that option, the expand button option, you need to select aggregate here. So after you select aggregate, you have the option here for each column, you have many options, right? You can add some average, minimum, maximum, whatever. Because we have unique rows, if we select some, that means the value is correct, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. It's automatically selected for every single column. We have some, 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 right here. Yeah, right there, so. And then we hit okay, and let's see what happens. We don't have duplicated values anymore. So let's check that, yeah? We only have 50 rows right here, we are fine. And right here, we have the name of the table, and then we have right here, the name of the column 
from the new table as well. We can just edit this part. Let's call this, because we know that comes from a different table, right? Bachelor's degree or higher. And then right here, the same thing right here. And then this one right here. Let's edit this one right here. Hit enter. That looks better. So right here, this should be percentage. So remember that data type percentage. Right here also percentage. This should also be percentage, right? We all know that this is percentage, so we don't need to have percentage right there. All right, so now we have joined two tables. We need to join another table, right? The same strategy here, select the table, merge queries, and right here, the connection, and right here, birth and death rates. That's the other table. Same connection here, state, state. And right here, let's select the inner join. Okay, let's use this one right here again. And then let's hit OK. Boom, we have a new column right now. Let's hit the expand button right here. Aggregate, we are good. And we know that these rows are unique. So if we have some here, so we have basically the right number. And let's select these two. Hit OK, boom. Let's edit this real quick. So we know this comes from a different table. We don't wanna have that anymore. And right here, the same strategy, boom. So we are basically cleaning this data, right? So this should be decimal. Remember the data type right here, we need to be very careful. So this is decimal, and this is also decimal. So now we have three different tables in just one table. So that's how it works, guys. All right, after we have done that, let's close and apply the changes. It's loading. And there you guys have it right here, total. It's right there. So that's the main table. And we have right here, three different tables together. All right, so now let's go back to the Excel file. What was the question again? Match the following three tables, check and create a visualization. All right, so now let's create a quick visualization. So let's select state here. Let's make this a little bit bigger right there. Let's select and different type of visualization here, field map, that looks nice. And then let's drag date established right here into this chart. Boom, that looks better, right? Let's edit this a little bit. So let's hit this option right here. Uh, we don't care about legend. And let's also add map controls, zoom buttons right here. And then let's make this a little bit bigger. There you guys have it. You can keep playing, you know, this is just a quick example. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything, right? 